today we are going to learn about the units of time. There are three main units of time in a day, seconds, minutes, and hours. A second is the smallest unit of time. It's so tiny. A minute is a lot bigger than a second. And then an hour is even bigger. An hour is the biggest unit of time in a day. We are going to look at each of these individually, okay? It is going to be a great time. <laughs> Get it? Uh, uh. It's funny, right? First, we're gonna learn about seconds. A second is the smallest unit of time. It's extremely short. Now, a fair warning to you, you're about to see some very cute animals that are gonna help us understand just how long a second is. Hey, what did we say? We warned you, okay. The time that it takes this cute little dog to jump is a second. It's just like a moment, boom. The dog jumps, whoop, in the air for a second, down. And you see how this dog, he's jumping over that pole, really cool, great dog. It takes just a second to jump. That's a second. That's the sound. That's a second. Okay, another cute animal. This is a cat, and this cat is blinking. The time it takes to blink is a second. Not just for cats, for humans. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and blink. Yeah, that's a second. Can you blink again? That's another second. Can you blink again? That's a second. It's so short. It's such a short amount of time. Could you blink again? Okay, that'll be the last time. Okay, it's a second. It's a second to blink. Oh, who doesn't love a good seal? Here's a seal in the water saying hi by waving. That wave takes just a second. Did you know when we say hi, that takes a second too. Why don't we give that a try? Say the word hi. 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 That's a second. Hi. That's a second. Hi. Now, I don't want you to annoy people around you, but I want you to understand it just takes a second to say hi or to wave. Waving usually takes just a second. On a clock, seconds are shown with the thinnest line. It's also the line that moves the fastest because seconds are the shortest period of time. Now you might not realize this, but every unit of time has an abbreviation. An abbreviation is a short form of a word, and seconds actually have two abbreviations. The abbreviations of seconds are sec or just the letter S. Here's an example. You could say one second. Or if you wanted to write it with an abbreviation, you could write one sec or just one s. Here's another example. Five seconds could be written five sec or five s. Now you don't always have to do that. You don't always have to use an abbreviation. But if you want to abbreviate and make seconds shorter, you can just write five sec or five s. The final example, 10 seconds can be written 10 sec or 10 s. Sec or s are abbreviations of the word seconds. Seconds are the shortest unit of time. Next, we're going to talk about minutes. A minute is the next biggest unit of time after seconds. Now, how much bigger is a minute than a second? Well, believe it or not, a minute is 60 seconds. 60 seconds! 60 is a lot! 
Now you might be wondering how much is 60? I'd love to see that. Well, look at this. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. 60 is a lot. A minute is 60 seconds. Now here's an example of something that takes about a minute. A little girl blowing bubbles takes about a minute. About 60 seconds. For a while she'll blow these bubbles and then she'll be done. She might spend a couple minutes or she might just spend a minute. It's not too long, but it's not too short. It's a minute. This little boy's tired. Maybe he played for a long time and he just wants to sit down for a minute. This is something that might take a minute, sitting down and just taking a break. It wouldn't be enough of a break to just take a second break. But a minute can help him rest. A minute is 60 seconds. It's enough time to take a break, to breathe for a while, and then to go back to playing. Here's our final example of a minute. A little girl who's cuddling with her teddy bear. Maybe she named him Mr. Perkins and maybe she'll give him hugs every once in a while, but now she's taking her time to cuddle him for 60 seconds, a minute. Maybe she'll spend about a minute. A second would just be too short to hug Mr. Perkins, but cuddling for a minute, she would take a minute to do that. On a clock, minutes are shown with the longest line. So when you look at a clock, the longest line called a hand on a clock. That longest hand measures the minutes. Now remember, every unit of time has an abbreviation. And remember, an abbreviation is just a short form of a word. The abbreviation of minutes is MIN, M-I-N, MIN. Here's an example. One minute would be abbreviated one MIN. Look at this one. Five minutes would be abbreviated five MIN. Ten minutes would be abbreviated ten MIN. A minute is the next biggest unit of time after seconds. The last unit of time we're looking at today are hours. Hours are the largest units of time in the day. In fact, in a day, there's only 24 of them. Not many at all. Okay, so how long is an hour exactly? Well, an hour is 60 minutes. And do you remember how big the number 60 is, right? Ooh. <laughs> Lots of minutes. 60 minutes. An hour is 60 minutes. And remember, a minute is 60 seconds. So it's a lot of time. Here's an example of an hour. This girl playing out in the snow. This girl would want to play out in the snow like an hour, right? 60 minutes. One minute wouldn't be enough playing out in the snow in one second. Well, one second is like, hi, and that's a second, remember? So an hour is 60 minutes. It's a good long time to play out in the snow, and that's how long this little girl might be playing outside in the snow. Ah, oh, fun, playing out in the water. That's awesome. This is so much fun. This little boy is probably going to want to play in the water for about an hour, right? One minute wouldn't be long to play in the water at all. Remember, one minute is only 60 seconds. And one second, remember, hi, that's a second. So an hour is a good long time to play out in the water, to have a lot of fun, and to get some really great exercise. Here's our final example of an hour. This little girl is taking a nap. A nap oftentimes takes an hour. One minute wouldn't be long enough for a really good nap. And one second, well, you already know how long a second is. A second wouldn't do it all either. An hour is a good long time. On a clock, hours are shown with the thick, short line. And that's the line on the clock that moves the slowest because hours are so long. 
Now, as you've remembered before, every unit of time has an abbreviation, and an abbreviation is a short form of a word, okay? Now, these kids already know this, okay? And why is this penguin moving so... The abbreviations of an hour are HR or just H. Here's an example. One hour could be written one HR or one H. Now five hours could be abbreviated five HR or five H. And 24 hours, which is how long a day is, could be abbreviated 24 HR or 24 well, there you have it. Those are the three main units of time in a day. Seconds, minutes, and hours, and now you understand them all, and I think it's time for this to be done, but we appreciate you being with us, and we hope you'll join us again soon, because we have so many fun things to learn.